How you doing, guys? Cam here. How you doing? Um, I thought what I would do is start doing a beginner series, uh, just a little side series, uh, just to show what you can do or can't do if you're a beginner to the game and uh, you're sort of overwhelmed a little bit and you're thinking, oh my God, what am I doing and how do I start? So this is literally what I would have loved to have known if I'd started doing the game. So anyway, I'm going to make a new game and I'm going to go defaults because at the moment I've got it all on. Uh, my other game at the moment. Now, one thing that I want to do is turn off the server visibility. I don't want people popping up, so pick not listed, so everything else is it's set as it should be. There you go. I mean, it's up to you if you want to change it. If you're a new player, I would suggest that you increase your 24 hour cycle so you've got more daytime and stuff like that. And also, um, adventure is not bad, but you can go down a scavenger and do it a little bit easier. And uh, that's no shame in that. I mean, why not? So, you've got some preloaded games in it, but I'm going to make a new one. So, if you are going to start fresh, I'd go for Navis game. Um, it's a good world size, and everybody knows it, and it's quite straightforward. But I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put thank you in. I don't think I could do subscribing, but <laughs> can I? Or well, can? Thank you for subscribing. So, if you want to join this type of game, if you want to make your own game and uh, copy me along the way, please do. Right, click start, and I'll see you in game. There we are in the new world. Um, what I would suggest is if you turn up here and you find that you've got snow or you've got a desert or you've got a wasteland, you know, it looks like the bomb's gone off, um, I would start again. I'd pick a different map if I was you. But thankfully, we're in the green. The green is the easiest area to do. So that's fantastic. Um, things that you've got when you start is water. You are going to need water. There's your water bar down the bottom here. Uh, when that starts to go down or starts to deplete, and it will do, um, you'll start getting thirsty. And the green one is your is your food, same thing. So it starts you off with water and food, which is great. And also a bandage, just in case you hurt yourself. Some light, a land claim block, which we'll go through later on. And also um, a friendly reminder, you can pay something, I don't know. There you go. Anyway, if you look at the top right corner, you can see uh, we've got some quests to do these are starter quests and if you do all these you get full skill points so it's always worth doing it now the first one is plant fiber so plant fiber is basically this glass here just punch it get a load of that but also if you see any of these funny looking uh ones here punch those you get a bit of wood saves you punching the tree so anyway do all these quests that it asks you to do if you get stuck um just have a look and see what i do Thankfully, if you can't find something, it actually comes up with a little icon like that, which is really great. Never used to. It'd be an absolute nightmare to find things at the beginning. Now, if you're doing the clothing bit, what I would suggest you do is go for a bit of overkill with the plant fiber and not just make what they've asked you to make, but make a load of clothing with it. Um, every little helps, to be honest. It's all protection. If you want to get some more feathers, uh, just take your axe and just smash one of these nests in. What I would suggest is take a tree down and also take a rock down, because at the end of it you get a little bonus. So if you can see bottom right corner, my wood's going up, but right at the end I'll get a little bit extra, and you are going to need it, so you might as well do it. Right, to upgrade anything, you've got your left button, which will take things apart with your axe. You've got your right button, which will actually do your build. There you go. Oh, I made two by mistake. Never mind. And there we go. So you get this little message coming up. Up to you if you want to read it. Uh, but the main thing is, it tells you where your locate trader is. And hopefully he's popping up. There he is, over there. And also, you've got skill points. You should have four of them. So what I would do is I would stick one into Sexual Transaurus, uh, which would give you unyielding stamina, which is brilliant. That uh, gives you power attacks, that kind of thing, which is great. I would put one into Minus 69er, 
because your base is going to be the most important thing you're going to do today. Uh, mother load, harvest more resources is very handy as well. And I will chuck one into Pummel Pete, if I'm going to be honest with you. And the reason for that is you can make a better bat. So if we look at the clubs, or should I say club, instead of bat, you can make a level two. So scrap that one and stick that on its place. And also I should be able to make better uh, tools as well. So let's make an ax. And also a shovel. There we go. Right, let's go and see the man or woman. Right, if anybody tries to stop you from getting where you want to, um, go for a headshot. Always go for a headshot. And if you can, do a power attack. Now, if you do a left attack on a left mouse button, or should I say primary button, you'll get a little tap. If you do with the other one, the secondary, you do a dirty great big one. Now, I always do a dirty great big one. Don't forget to loot everything on your way. It might be worth something to sell, or you might be able to use it. All that food, see? Happy days. That's not bad, duct tape. You'll need that later. That's not bad. Sometimes you get these little loot bags. Uh, if you do a really, really hard uh, kind of zombie, and you'll know the ones when you come across them, you get a blue one. They're supposed to be epic or red, but I don't think they're that great. Most of the time you'll get a yellow, which is pretty good, because look at that, I've got a book. Lanterns, you can now craft lanterns, mine hats, and helm rods. mods, that's cool. We've got some drink, we've got some ammo, and we've got a first aid bag. That was pretty cool. Also, loot any other mailboxes. Uh, sometimes you get these books and they are worth getting, especially the archery ones, crippling shots through the leg with arrows or bolts. If you got them already, you'll find out because the book at the moment is closed, meaning I haven't actually learned this one. Uh, as soon as you use it, it will have an open book if you find this particular one again. So there you go. That's good. I'll go through those in a second, but we're just about to be attacked. <laughs> That's a really good find, it's a jar of honey. It gives you food and health, but it also cures infections. So if you do get infected really early on, brilliant way of actually doing it. It's sort of, it's an antibiotic, a natural antibiotic. We've also got vitamins, um, so it cures fatigue. If you use one of them, really keeps your stamina up really nicely. And here we are. There's, I think there's about four different types of traders, I could be wrong. This one is not the most happiest person you've ever met. Uh, you'll get my meaning when you meet him. Now these are the type that can actually give you the epic or the rare or whatever it is loot bags and they also give you a little bit more XP when you beat them up. Right, once you get to your lovely trader, what I would suggest is you stick an icon in and do this on the map and call it whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it trader, there we go, that way you can't lose them again. And go and say hello to him. Now this guy's not the happiest of people. Looking for something special. Actually, he's being quite nice at the moment. Um, we're not going to do any jobs. I don't think I've got anything I want to sell him. Oh, I have. I've got a little bit of grass. There we go. So sell him what you can do. Or what you don't need. It's not bad. 185. That's right. Do the math. Right. Also, loot his place. You can actually loot it. Uh, don't eat these sandwiches. They will give you bum rot dysentery. If you've got dysentery, it takes about 30 minutes to go and you can't really heal during that time. That's a find. Cooking grill. You need three different types of things to cook food. Uh, one's cooking grill, one is a beaker, and one is a cooking pot. You come across them, brilliant. Lock picks, cool. We might need those later on. This is the vending machine where you can get the cheaper food. Um, if you go to our man next door, he will actually charge you an arm and leg for it. So buy as much food as you can do, because you're going to need it during the night. Oh, bit of clothing. I swear that. Better than what we got. Now, as I've been picking stuff up, you can see I'm encumbered. If I look down here, uh, it means I'm going to be walking a bit slower. I've got less energy. That's because I haven't opened up any of these pockets. You can add pockets, and these will give you more inventory room on yourself as we go, but at the moment we're okay. If you come across any workstations, they're all broken, okay? But sometimes you can actually find things in them, including schematics for them, which will save you a bit of heartache later on. You won't have to use your skill points to actually make the things. Oh, that's not bad. I think that's a mod for our club. 
very nice as you can see i'm starting to go really really slow now because i've got too much stuff in i'm too encumbered so i'm going to scrap a few bits but also i'm going to put a few bits into my tool belt here if you do that they don't weigh anything which is really really cool sounds like i've got a welcome party for me out here eggs lovely you can eat eggs right next thing to do is to go and build a base now the base is most important thing to get past night one because everybody and their uncle is going to come try and kill you so get a good base down you do quests tomorrow so what i would do is there's always a lovely little bit of land over here so i would start taking this apart so the way i would do it is i would do a five by seven um so first thing i'm going to do is take a load of trees down With the stone, I'm going to add it to the clay and make cobblestone rocks. Right, with a shovel, start digging out some foundations. Now, you could lay the cobblestone blocks directly onto the grass, but it's always a good idea to make foundations in case they find a way of tunneling under. And believe me, if they can find a weakness they bloody will exploit it some of the food and drink you get actually give you stamina regen so if you've got any use it at this point with the cobblestone rocks you can make cobblestone shapes i.e you build blocks i've left two holes here one of them is because that way i can dig into the ground Okay, and I can make a little mine down there if I want to get all the cobblestone and everything I need. The other one is for a land block. Now, the land block itself has stopped anybody on a public server from building quite close to you. As you can see, wherever I put it, it's got these white lines. So I'm going to put it there because it's supposed to stop the zombies from spawning as well. But I think it works. I mean, some people would argue it, but I think it works. Get your bed rolled down. That way, as soon as you do, you can actually see it on your map. Uh, you can also see your land block on your map if you look at the top i mean you can also see it on your compass which is really great if you want to find your way home next thing you want to do is make uh, a chest to put your stuff in otherwise you're going to be encumbered far too long and then i'm going to put down my lovely little fire so here we are it's nearly time for the horde to come out at night um what i've done is I've put a door on, which is great. I had a little bit of metal. You can upgrade the doors here if you've got a little bit of metal, which is brilliant. I've been digging down here. This way I was able to get all the clay and all the stone that I needed, which is brilliant. Look at that. Okay. And also I found a little bit of lead as well on the sides. So good luck if you do use this map. That'd be cool. I've got a ladder going up to the roof. I'm going to take this one out actually because they're not very good at jumping. So if you do that, they can't get up here so easy if they do break in. I've got a hatch going as well, which is really cool. So I can have a look and see who's trying to break in. And I've also got wooden spikes. Now, wooden spikes are pretty cool because if you put in spikes, you can make two types. One is iron spikes, one is wood spikes. Wood spikes only use wood, which is brilliant. And I've got some spares to go as well. So it's all cool. Let's just see if we survive the night now. The idea is that they can't get to the door so easy. You'll make it so they can still get out though. So then what you do is you put a couple of spikes down there. Makes it horrible for them. And you can still get in. Pop one of those down. Pop two now if you want. Pop in. And shut yourself up for the night. Cool. Hey. I'm going to see who tries to bash our door down. I'm going to make some spears. That way if I need to I can throw a couple at them. Hopefully we should be all right. Now, you can actually put the torch on a wall down here, but if you do, the zombies sort of see the light. I tell you what, let's have a go anyway. So you can put the torch up here if you want. There you go, throw it up. We've got a lovely wolf here. He hasn't really spotted me yet. Yeah, he has. Come on, little sod. Come on then.
There you go. A little bit of meat if you want it. Hang on. Let's grab it. Do a quick repair. And now we've got a bow. Here he comes. Lovely. And he's down. There you go, guys. Easy survival on the first night. Um, this is not a bad starter base, to be honest with you. I mean, you can literally keep digging down, getting loads of uh, cobble. Uh, you could put a big pit around the outside, that kind of thing. But I think you could probably leave it like it is for, a, I don't know, at least up to uh, the seventh day. And then on the seventh day, you could do a bit more modification and you can hold it against the horde. Um, thanks very much for watching, everybody. If this is something that you'd like, I'll carry on with this series and uh, we can do some extra bits on beginner stuff. And uh, please take it easy. And if you like what you like, please uh, like it. And if you don't like it, um, well, don't like it, I suppose. But I wish you would. Bye-bye.